So today we're tackling part four of the Crew AI setup tutorial. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install, make sure that your Crew AI project has all the proper dependencies it needs. This is gonna be using the poetry extension that we use. That we this is gonna be using the Python poetry library that we installed earlier in part two. Now it's gonna make sure that your project has all the libraries, packages it needs in order to run. Then we're gonna set the API key that we were able to get in part three. And after we're gonna test this Crew AI sample project to make sure that everything is done correctly in order for you to start working with Crew AI. So if you wanna start working with this groundbreaking technology, I suggest you watch part one, two, and three. I'll be linking those below. So for now, let's get started. So we're gonna to go to the Crew AI website. You're gonna click in view repo. It's gonna take you to the GitHub. This is gonna take you to the GitHub page of the project. And we're gonna scroll down to this pyproject.toml pro. So we're gonna click this pyproject.toml file. And here we're just gonna copy all this. Now, basically, this is what Poetry uses in order to make sure that your project has everything that it needs. These are all different libraries, different packages, different dependencies. This is what your project needs in order to run. But instead of doing it one by one, this .toml file is going to be able to pull them for you. So again, we're going to click Copy. And then here in your editor, you're going to click New File. You're going to call it pyproject.toml. And we're just going to paste this here. Now you don't need everything that's on this file, but just for the, but just for the sake of speeding it up, we're going to install everything that you would use on a regular Crew AI project. So now you're going to go back to your code editor. In your terminal, you're going to type this command in order to install the dependencies from your .toml file. And this one's going to install all of the dependencies, everything that your project needs in order to make it run on your computer. So now that it's done installing, we're going to move on to setting up your API key. Now the way you set up your API key for this kind of project is we're going to change it in this environment variable. Now the way you set up your API key in this kind of project is we're going to set it in this .env or environment file. First thing we're going to do is, because it's just an example, we're going to rename it to just .env. Now for a short explanation, a .env file usually has things like passwords, user accounts, that your project may need to run, but you don't want these to be uploaded to GitHub. We're not uploading anything, but again, this is just safe practice for most projects you find on websites like GitHub. So if you recall from the previous tutorial, you need to go to the OpenAI website in order to retrieve the API key. And once you sign in, all you need to do is go to API keys. After you verify, you'll be able to create a new key. And the other thing you're gonna need to is gonna be your organization ID. And you can get that from your personal, you can get that by going to settings. And here you'll see your organization ID. And just to reiterate, you don't want to give out your API keys to anybody. Again, you're just going to copy it from the website, paste the API key here. Same thing for your organization, same thing for your organization ID. You're going to copy it and paste it here. And again, for no reason, do not give this out to anybody. And after you copy and paste them here, Make sure you save the file. Just click File and Save. So now that we installed all of our dependencies, and now that we set up our API key, we want to start our start template project. And what you need to do is you need to start up that poetry shell, or I guess you could kind of call it the poetry toolbox that you set up with the poetry program. And the command for that is just going to be poetry shell. Basically what it's going to let you do is it's going to let you use all the tools that you install with your pyproject.toml file. Now before I forget, before you try running your Crew AI file, you're going to have to install a couple more things. So first we're going to do pip install Crew AI. And then after that, we're going to do pip install python decouple. That's reference to this right here. And in order to prevent getting an error once you try running your project, we are going to have to make one addition to one of the files. So you're going to click here and go to your tests.py. Once you open it, you're going to scroll down to line under line 26. You're going to type expected underscore output. And set that to equals. Quotations. And then we're just going to put, you can write anything. You can just write successful output and this is just for the first agent we do that again in the space below it right here under line 41 
So we're not going to talk about how the agents work yet. I think this was because of an update that Korea I did to the repository, but we'll get to that in another video. And then don't forget to save after you make these changes. So now that we've made these changes, we can run our Korea I project. And we're just going to type python main.py. Okay, so our project has started up. Here it's it tells us welcome to create a template. So here you can just type whatever you want. Really, for this test, you just want to pick two topics. We want to pick fast food. And then we say, I don't know, Mexican restaurants. So here we see that our AI is initiating. Now again, in another video we'll start talking more a little bit about how these agents how these agents work and how they interact with each other. But for now, we just want to make sure that it works properly. So here we're able to get a result out, and then it just has some information on uh, Mexican fast food chains, blah blah. But again, this isn't important because because we haven't customized anything in terms of the analysis we want, in terms of the knowledge we want. We just wanted to get it running. And again, we did a lot so far. We set up all the tools from scratch, basically assuming you had a new computer and no coding experience. We set up all the things that you were gonna need in order to run specifically Crew AI. We set up your API keys, and then we install any remaining files, dependencies, libraries, in order to run and test run this project. So moving on to the next video, we're gonna talk a little more about how Crew AI works, how these files interact with each other in the project, how these agents talk to one another, and as we test that out, we'll be able to build a more complex, more useful project. Again, I know it doesn't seem like a lot just from the text you get here, but really want to get you from a place where you had no knowledge of what Korea was, how to set it up, to now you have a working project that you can use as a template to build more elaborate tools. I hope you found this helpful. If this is the first video you saw, I recommend you watch the other one so you can get up to this point on your project. So moving forward to the other videos, you can join in building out these crew AI tools with multiple AI agents. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.